And usually it's, it's really when he turns south, uh, southpaw. Turning southpaw, but he, and he forgets to bring back up that. The decision is a split decision draw. Now people naturally boo that fellas. By boxing the past few rounds, not taking a lot of. Oh, oh right right out. Down. Down he over. goes! What a shot! It's this over. fight is over. That's it. Wow. Sumabog ang balita kamakailan lang ang posibleng laban ng ating pambato na dating WBC Federweight World Champion na si Mark Magnifico Magsayo kontra sa dating WBA at WBC Super Bantamweight Champion na si Brandon Figueroa alias The Heartbreaker. Lumabas ang nasabing balita matapos nag-iba ng landas itong si Stephen Fulton na siya sanang makakalaban itong si Figueroa para sa kanilang rematch. Lumihis ng landas si Fulton papunta kay Naoya Inoue kaya naman, napunta kay Mark Magsayo itong si Figueroa. Ang laban nila ay posibleng para sa interim WBC Federway title. Matatandaang natalo si Mark Magsayo sa kanyang huling laban kontra kay Vargas at nakuha sa kanya ang WBC Federway title. Habang itong si Brandon Figueroa naman ay natalo din taong 2021 kontra kay Stephen Fulton at nakuha sa kanya ang WBA Super Bantamweight title. Pero panalo naman siya sa kanyang huling laban via TKO kontra kay Carlos Castro. Parihong may impresibong kartada itong si Magsayo at Figueroa. Parihong knockout artist. May kasalukuyang record itong si Figueroa na 23 wins only 1 defeat. 1 draw, 18 dito via knockout. Habang 24 wins, 1 loss, 16 via knockout naman si Magsayo. Pero sa height at reach ay magkakatalo sila dahil sa medyo may advantage talaga itong si Figueroa. 20 sa si Figueroa, 5'8 ang tangkad at may reach na 72 and 1 half inches. Habang 20 city anyo si Magsayo at may height lang na 5'6 at may reach na 68 inches. Pariho silang orthodox at parihong bakbakan talaga ang gusto sa ibabaw ng lona. Agresibo kung lumaban itong si Figueroa at ganun din naman ang gustong laban ni Mark Magsayo. Before Kaya naman, kung matutuloy ang nasabing laban na posibli o manong mangyari ngayong Marso ay talagang kaabang-abang ang napagagandang bakbakan. Sa kabuoan ng kanilang karera ay may nag-iisang bakser na pariho nilang nakalaban. Ito ay ang knockout artist din ng Mexico na si Julio Siha. Unang nangyari ang labang Julio Siha versus Figueroa taong 2019. Walang humpay na suntukan ang pinamalas nila at nagresulta ito sa isang controversial split draw. Maraming mga fans ang umalma sa naging resulta dahil sa tingin ng karamihan ay panalo daw dapat si Julio Siha. At taong 2021 naman, nangyari ang labang Mark Magsayo kontra Julio Siha. Ang laban na palitan ng knockdown pero nanaig ang tibay at lakas ni Kabayan. Tinalo ni Mark Magsayo via brutal knockout itong si Julio Siha, ang boxedor na nagpahirap kay Figueroa. Dahil dito, marami ang nagsasabi na malaki ang tsansa ni Mark Magsayo na isang impresibong panalo ang maibibigay niya sa mga Pilipino. Ano sa palagay mo? Ating balikan ang labang Julio Siha versus Brandon Figueroa. Ang laban na marami ang umalma dahil talo daw dapat si Figueroa at hindi tabla. And, uh, Trading, fighting in the phone booth. Now. Uh, more effective. 
body, and we're throwing to the body. I'm going to win the exchange. We'll see if that action on the gloves as Figaro is whacking on Seha. That's a good point. So, yeah, and he starts people. Third people. Except uh, he'll probably end up as a welfare. He's more successful that way. Well, he just caught Seha with really good rock wow. hook that rock hook. Seha took it. Fall in love with your power. You can fall in love with your, your body. Maybe they can. Right. I mean, you know, better competition. You know, they're, they're more calm. Last time out, broke him down by one shot, basically. That was his last time out. Again, he's this is a big step up, to say the truth, in talent uh, for for Figueroa. Oh, he's been really effective in the fight, and I, I, I see him very good at landing them right on the belt line, and those are withering shots as well. Oh, I gave Seha a second by the 22-year-old. And that's what I'm... Oh! Able to smile there briefly, but he did get tagged. He's throwing back now. Oh, really true grit right here. He came back with some hard, hard left hand. I'm talking about Figueroa. And so he leads, he leads. To be careful while he's throwing these punches, especially the wide punches, he's leaving himself. Seha, no doubt. Again, going to the body. Again, both men going to the body. Back and forth. Oh, and a blistering hook on the way in. Looks the fight. Wow. Uh, getting hurt. He comes back with him. They're trading. I mean, well, staying in there. Yeah, but you know, his older brother Omar's been in this. But Brandon's uh, left eye is now pu getting puffy and soft and swollen. There's say pressure on Brandon. And I think his corner would think he can stay in box on the outside. No. So, oh. And uh, a one style. Four and a half pounds overweight for a champion. Brother. Yep. Yeah. Now I've seen his brother in some wars as well. They Seha has to love this. Uh, he touches the top. Say how did Great action and outstanding bout. Brandon Figueroa has been through the wars. Ooh, face the woman up right now. You know, Deontay's woman up in that. You know, I'm surprised. That, that was, that makes was sense. as we say in the business, yeah. moments ago. Both guys are landing solid. Wow. And Sehal landed really solid with the hooks. These are just body shots, more body shots. And then going to the head. That snap Figueroa for a moment. So they are not interested in clinching. It's a battle of attrition. The first time you've really seen Sehal give up ground. Uh, trying to distinguish between the power shots. This is more successful with that left hand. Banging it out. We're in the eighth round right now. I'm figuring some of these rounds have to be tough to score. Let's go to Larry. The last three rounds, and I have them ahead, not weaker. Larry, thank you. Look, I, I don't think that's out of luck. agree with that. Big oh, yeah. for the butt as well. Yeah, but <laughs> well, Seha is the volume puncher. In like Trowbridge, veteran officials. Seha, withering shots there. That's really He's getting battered around. And Seha's coming, stepping towards him, pushing him back against the ropes, which is the smartest thing to do. Give him no room to back up. He's not that. Just doesn't stop. They get closer. And, he oh, and uh, that's why I leave it up to the experts. Uh, look at there we go. Look at that. And it's funny that Figueroa toughness of this young man. Seha's yeah. didn't think he was going to be a professional fighter, but no. He is showing his worth right now. Yeah. So I, I think Jay Nady goes in and goes out. Um, you know, knockdowns in this fight. I think we might end up looking back and thinking, how would they trade and eat so... Uh, Brandon's got uh, 15 knockouts and 20 wins. And Seha came into this fight with the reputation of... Oh, that was a low blow right there. Defense off the defense. Yeah, he's, he's waiting to get... i to tell you, Seha's really winning this round for sure. And this kind of surprises me. Well, he's out working, Brandon. Those hooks are landing. Scoring oh, oh. into the championship rounds here. Excellent fight. Proven right here. Uh, Seha really is uh, getting stronger in these last few rounds. 96, 94. I gave him the last round. A uh, round two volume of punches. Right, you have more conditioning. Seha's been able to keep up the ball. Oh! This is short. Being very effective. Judged officially. Oh, you're absolutely right. If you saw him, he just took a half step back and jumped back call right now. Figueroa back to work in the final 30 seconds. You can hear both corners screaming out their instructions. Left hook by Figueroa. That landed. These two good young fighters. Both corners are worried. Both corners don't know if they've won the fight or they're losing the corner said, listen, you got to win this round. And you see the punches landed overall in favor of Figueroa. They're throwing hooks and uppercuts mostly. Oh, look at that, another hook by Seha. Now back comes Figueroa. You know, he might not be able to win the belt that's on the line, and the belt that's out there, but the main thing for him is to win the fight, no matter what happens. If he gets a bit left to get 
back into this round. It's been all Figueroa so far. I agree with you. Yeah, he's that's... throwing now. Spike though. Another combination by Figueroa. He certainly seems to have done enough to win this round, but back comes say For sure. Let's listen up. Final 10 seconds. See what they got. It's not much. That is what they had, and it was more than enough. An to 114, even a draw. The decision is a split decision draw. Now, people naturally boo that, fellas, but you know what? A draw is a draw. A draw. Hi, guys, this is Mark Magnifico Magsayo. You are watching Channel Manoy.